This is the 2024 Acer Chromebook Plus 514 with the Intel Core i3 N305 processor. So not to be confused with last year's model that had an AMD processor. On the surface, it's in a popular Chromebook segment, a 14 inch clamshell Chromebook Plus. So you know the hardware specs will tick certain boxes and you'll get some of the Chromebook Plus software benefits too. I've been using it as my daily Chromebook since I unboxed it a couple of weeks ago. I'll link to that video in the pinned comment of this one. But first, let me cover off the good and bad that you need to know about this model. The build quality is good. The two-tone finish to the lid looks nice in this steel grey colour, but it's still a full plastic build. I'm not a fan of the squared off rear corners for handling it. It's just nicer if those were rounded off. It doesn't feel cheap, but don't expect a high-end premium feel either. Weight isn't a problem as well. It's 1.44 kg. That's about 3.17 pound. Performance, as I've shown on the channel with other Chromebooks with the Core i3 N305 coupled with 8GB of low power DDR5 RAM is decent. It's a nice sweet spot that isn't too harsh on battery either. I was really impressed with battery life on this one. Depending on your use, I think you could get close to the 9.5 hours estimated and that's out of the 53 watt hour battery. Using the included 65 watt USB-C charger, I was also able to recharge the Chromebook to over 50% in just half an hour. For the storage, I've got 128GB of eMMC storage on board not the fastest option but it does the job if you can look for the 256 gig model that's an ssd instead you've also got chrome os updates until june 2033 so a decent update life ahead of it my nephew was pretty happy with how minecraft ran on this acer chromebook plus 514 and as i've come to expect with this setup cloud gaming like fortnite via geforce now was also fine it's Wi-Fi 6E compatible and Bluetooth 5.1 for connecting my Google Stadia controller. So not the latest standard, but it didn't affect me. And when you're pushing performance a bit, like with some gaming, the fan will kick in. But personally, I didn't often notice it. It's pretty low. And although you can get some heat from the bottom of the Chromebook 2, again, it's pretty minimal. Around the sides, you've got a nice mix of connectivity, which suited me, dual USB A and C. They're 3.2 Gen 1 ports, so not the latest Gen 2 but you have also got a micro SD card reader. I know for some of you not having HDMI on board can be an issue but I'm happy using my dock when at my desk and of course dual extended full HD monitors was no issue for this one and when out I take my hub if necessary. Opening up the Chromebook it's good to see the display goes back 180 degrees and the display itself won't blow you away but it is decent. It's a 14 inch full HD IPS panel in a matte finish. Lower end on the brightness, but fine for indoor use. It's good to use, but if you're used to a more vibrant color, accurate display, I think you're gonna notice a difference. There is an optional touch display to watch out for, but this one here is non-touch. The Full HD webcam is at the top of the display, and I was pleased to see that the privacy shutter was easy to operate. Moving to the keyboard deck, it's a decent setup, especially if you like deeper travel keys. Near, if not identical to the keys and feel on the Acer Chromebook Plus 515, I just feel like it doesn't give much in the way of feedback. This one isn't backlit, but again, it's an option to watch out for. You may be sensing a pattern here. The touchpad ticks all the boxes for me, smooth, well-sized, and no looseness to it for taps or clicks. It's branded Ocean Glass by Acer, but remember that doesn't mean it's glass, it just means they've used ocean-bound plastic in it, and it should have a smooth feel, which it does. Another tick in the design, the speakers are positioned on the keyboard deck firing up at you rather than being underneath. They get pretty loud, and the quality is as you'd expect on a mid range Chromebook. Here's a quick sample using the intro track from this video. You can certainly compare this to other Chromebook Plus models. I'll link a playlist on the left for you now. But equally, if you don't need the Chromebook Plus functionality and you're looking at this, what I term the base spec of the Chromebook Plus 514, then you really need to compare it to the very similar spec to Acer Chromebook 314. I'll link that video on the right for you now. Cheers.